Andy, one of the things that an operating system like Windows should do is help you do your work, help you get through your day. Yeah. So here I've got a few different programs open. I've got my email open. I've got a calendar open. I've got a Word document that I'm working on. I've got our old friend, the calculator, who's still over here. I've got all these things, but it's kind of hard to see them. They're all jumbled up here. Um, there's a couple things that Windows 10 lets me do that makes this a little bit easier. So maybe I want to take my email and I'd like it to be half of the screen. Okay. So there's a feature called Snap. This has been in other versions of Windows as well. If I grab the title bar of Mail, and if I drag it over to the right-hand side, notice that it resizes itself to take exactly half of the screen. Mm -hmm. Now over here, it's taken everything else that's open and it's minimized them. It wants me to choose what I want in the other half. So let's say I want my calendar and I'll choose that. Now I have my calendar on half and I have mail on half and I can resize it if I want to by putting the cursor in between and sliding things over a little bit. So I could fit another program in there if I wanted to, mm -hmm. but there's a limit to how much I'm going to be able to do in such a small space. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a new feature in Windows 10 called Task View. So it's down here on the bottom. It's right next to Cortana. If I click on Task View, one of the things that it does oh. is it shows me everything that's currently open and down here at the bottom I have two desktops. So maybe I want to put this Word document on the other desktop. Maybe that didn't work well at all. Ah, there it is. I can just drag it down there. Now it's on the second desktop. Now maybe I want to put the calculator there too. Mm -hmm. So I'll grab the calculator and I'll put it on the second desktop. Now I can choose which desktop I want to work on. So if I'm on desktop one, there's my email and my calendar. Mm -hmm. I can click on task view and go back to desktop two. And here's where I can be working on my Word document. So I can have basically extra desks where I'm doing different types of work. That's handy. Maybe I have one where I'm playing games, and then when the boss is coming, I can quickly switch over to one that has the <laughs> calendar and email. <laughs> right. Not that anybody would do no, that. No, 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 no. If you don't want to use the mouse and click on task view to go back and forth between them, mm -hmm. what you can do is control Windows key left or control Windows key right. Now in this case we have two desktops. They kind of do the same thing. They go to the next desktop. Mm -hmm. But you could have more than that. Remember when we clicked on task view, I don't know if you noticed, but over here in the bottom right, we have a button to create a new desktop. Oh. So we could have three desktops, four desktops, seven desktops. Wow. Might get a little out of hand. Yeah, but I like that. So that's a great way that task view helps you organize your work by keeping them in different desktops. Yes. But let's not be desktop hoarders. Let's not be desktop hoarders. No. Now that's called Task View, and it's not to be confused with Task Manager, which is uh -huh. what lets you see all your open programs in case you need to close one. That has been updated for Windows 10. If I press Control alt delete I get my lock screen, and I can choose the Task Manager here. It gives me a list of all the programs that are currently running. So what I can do here is, you know, one option is if I want to go to that program, I can double click on it. So if I double click on Word, it'll take me over to Word. But where this is really used is if you have a program that won't close. If something's gone wrong and you mm -hmm. can't get a program to close, mm -hmm. I could choose, let's say, my calendar, and I could choose End Task, and it'll manually force that program to close. Oh, okay. So that's Task View and Task Manager. It's important to know your views from your manager and to keep your manager from seeing all your views. <laughs> so that's probably true.